I keep hearing from people in tech looking for their next role. The job market is saturated. But I also keep hearing from companies and my clients that they can't find people. It is great that I see so many people in the Eddie Hub community getting their first, second, tenth full-time or part-time remote role in something they love doing. Can you guess what the solution is? And it's not hard either. And no, you don't need to spend money or buy a course. While you're thinking about it, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, subscribe below. It will definitely help you find a job in tech and get you the money that you deserve. Plus, it's completely free and helps support my channel so I can make more videos for you. Right, where were we? The solution is open source and GitHub. Wait, wait, wait. I know you've heard me say that a hundred times before. I'm not saying you need to spend every spare minute you've got contributing or you need to be a maintainer for some big, massive, super fancy open source project. In fact, I've seen people do it with about one hour a week and get jobs from it. So how do they do that? Well, GitHub did start off with the focus of code, but now open source is so much more. Code is actually only a small part. You can get involved in documentation, project management, automation. There are so many things. And with all these things that you can do on GitHub, which ones add the most value? Well, you need to do a variety of things and coding is only a very small part of it. And by coding, I mean documentation. So actually changing source files is only a very small part of it. You can actually look at your GitHub profile. Under the tiles, you're able to see contribution graph, like a diamond. And hopefully it does look like a diamond. It shows you the balance of efforts between commits, pull requests, issues, and code reviews. And those terminologies might be quite scary. But once you get started, once you get involved today, you're going to understand it more and you can't do anything wrong. Just click that button. Just try it. Or that graph isn't balanced for most people, including myself. But we try. I mean, why is balance so important? Well, when I hire for my clients, I do look at your latest code and I want to see, was it better than it was three months ago? It doesn't matter how good it is today. As long as you're still learning, we can keep improving and learning together. Which is why I recommend keeping your old code on there all the time. Don't delete your old code. It is part of your journey. But to be honest, I'm more interested in how you communicate and collaborate. Because when working for a company or even a client, also on socials, you're going to need to have to communicate and collaborate with people. You're probably doing okay on the commits and issue sides. However, usually pull requests and definitely the code reviews are lacking. All are important. It all doesn't have to be perfectly balanced, but you don't want some, one of them to say 0%. Let's get started with commits. This shows how big or small your commits are and are they laser focused with a good commit message. Remember, a pull request can have multiple commits. Issues. Your issues, when you create issues, do they give context? Can someone who just landed on the project for the first time understand your issue? This is super important. Pull requests. These are like issues, but they contain your commits, which contain some changes to the project. So like issues, does this have context? Can someone easily understand your changes? Can they review your changes? Do you have a screenshot? Do you tell a story? But obviously not making it too big where someone has to spend half a day reading it all. It's finding that balance. Code review. This is probably assumed to be the most difficult. However, you can review any pull request on GitHub. You don't need a popular GitHub project. What you need to do is add value. And you could ask a question on the pull request. Why did you do it this way? Have you thought about this? And it's really important to do it in a constructive way, not to make people feel bad. I know what you're thinking. How can someone review someone else's work when it might not make sense? They may be you know, new to the project. Well, your fresh perspective can add so much value. Does the documentation make sense? If you follow it, does it work? Are there any assumptions that have been made? Remember, it's not just about code. Let me throw something else into the mix. Twitter, for example. Twitter is another great way to stand out. I always recommend learning in public. So sharing what you learn bite size on Twitter into digestible content is super important. But then do back it up with GitHub. You can't just be all talk and no show. You really want to show people on GitHub how awesome you are. But having a presence on Twitter allows people to find your GitHub even more, right? More eyes on your GitHub profile. And what you've been up to is going to increase your chances to get companies and clients coming to you. Companies now have teams looking for people on GitHub and Twitter. For over 10 years, I've been doing open source. And for over 10 years, everyone has been coming to me. And I want this 
for you. I keep telling everyone I get my clients and job offers from GitHub, but no one believes me and I can't understand why. And no, you don't have to spend every hour doing it. Work-life balance is really important. I really believe in having time for yourself to rest and recover and spend time with your friends and family and doing the other things you enjoy in addition to tech. I am not asking you to give more work. I'm just recommending, reminding that you that if you share your adventures in public, it could really open lots of doors for you. In an interview, it's quite easy to test someone's technical skills. Can you do a for loop? Can you do a conditional statement? Can you write a function to do this? But it's actually more difficult to test someone how they collaborate and communicate. That is why I keep saying, don't tell people, show people. Let me conclude this video so you can get into open source right now. Go collaborate with people, join some communities, join a few communities and see which one goes at the speed that you want, which one you feel safe in. Obviously, I recommend the Eddie Hub community. It is super inclusive and a safe place for you to ask all your open source Git and GitHub questions. The members there are amazing. They wanna help you succeed. And like I said, so many members there are getting the jobs and clients that they want and it's remote, working in the time zones that they want, the location they want, and they want you to get the same, which is why I love waking up in the morning and seeing all the collaboration that's gone on in our Discord. Don't forget to join our Discord so we can chat between videos and live streams, and we also have a GitHub organization too. I look forward to geeking out with you in our Discord. Uh, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up, and I'll geek out with you soon.